This is the Evelyn Wood speed review of the Sony A9, point by point, feature by feature. It's a 24 megapixel chip. It shoots 20 frames per second. Really. The entire viewfinder area has 693 autofocus points that are selectable. No, that's not a lie. That's the truth. The shutter has a 30 millisecond lag time. It's shorter than even the D3S. When you take pictures, there's a visual indication of that in the EVF viewfinder. Because at 20 frames a second with a camera that makes no noise, you've got to have some way of knowing that it's actually working. Did I mention that's 20 frames per second with full autofocus tracking ability? Yeah. So the Sony A9 has two SD card slots. The upper one is normal, what we've all, all been using all along. The lower one, though, is like a massive fire hose uh, in terms of speed and the information you can pass through. It is technically an SDXC2 version uh, slot. So it's capable of way, way higher write speeds and read speeds than anything that's come before. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us uh, near CF card performance with an SD card. So once again, Sony always chooses the smallest possible option uh, for storage. New battery technology that everybody's been asking for. It's now here and they somehow made a big fat battery perform in a little tiny size, which is pretty sweet and fairly typical of what Sony does all the time. There are 3.6 million pixels inside the electronic viewfinder. So when you put your camera to the eyepiece, you put your eye to the eyepiece, you're looking at a 4K image, literally. It's stunning. There are now two different back button focus buttons you can select for uh, function four or back button focus. Just like all the other Sonys, when you're in video mode, the A9 captures 6K video, it pairs it down to 4K without pixel binning, and it gives you a professional Kodak uh, in the process. And it allows you to make full frame sensor sized video images, which is insane, so cool. So you can actually shoot full frame 4K video with this camera, unlike the C100, the C300, the D5, or the 1DX Mark II. Okay, one last thing that should be obvious, but a lot of times we're so stuck in the mud of the DSLR that we don't always think of this. But if you take out the shutter from a camera, and if you also remove the mirror box and the mirror and the reflex action of that mirror, so if you take out the shutter and the mirror, what's left to break? Because at that point, the only moving parts are the shutter release button and the back button focus button. And that's about it. What do you think that's going to have to do with the statistics on repairs for the A9 versus everything else on the planet? I'll let you draw your own conclusions. But if there's no moving parts, it's really hard to break the thing. So I'm Sony artisan Patrick Murphy Racy with my speed review of the Sony A9. For the longer version, just click the link below in the, in, the, in the section below this video. No, I didn't make all this up. It's real. It's a real camera. I've taken pictures of it. Honest.